May 8th, 2024. How's it going, guys? Well, I've got another video for you. And what are we going to talk about? Kansas City, Independence, Missouri. We're going to talk about crime. We're going to talk about drugs. We're going to talk about the homeless. And is it getting better or is it getting worse? Looks like it's getting worse. And also, I'm not affiliated with any other YouTube channel. But I come across something I want everybody to check out. And it's called the Tweakers Hunters Episode 74. Tweaker Hunters Episode 74. And what this guy does, he goes out and he talks to these people that are on drugs and homeless out on the streets and stuff. Check it out. It's Episode 74, Tweaker Hunters. Like I said, I'm not affiliated with any other uh, YouTube channel, but it's really interesting. He talks to these people one-on-one, -on -one, and they just come out and talk about the drugs that they're on. I think everybody would find this very interesting if they have any interest in caring about any of this. And uh, I want to go start right here at Independence on Monday, and I'm going to show you guys something, so hold on. Okay, guys, so where should we begin here? I guess I can start tonight. I guess we could, let's, let's start with the bikers going down the street, the whole brigade, as you can see, going down here, which was kind of interesting because out on 40 Highway, way far back, I went through a divorce, and I used to go down to a, a place called, it was called Doc Holidays. It's now a, a Mexican bar, I guess, or whatever, but, uh, it was a biker place, just like on down the road from the other one. And uh, most places, uh, basically, there was drugs that was coming in from across the border down to Mexico. They were bringing cocaine in, all different things and stuff. And I actually seen this one night. Now, I went down there because I was just waiting to get through my divorce. I sat down there, drink a couple beers or whatever. But uh, this one guy, one night, this one biker come in, he had a, a laptop. And uh, that laptop case had a full, it was full of cocaine. So I know this is real. And uh, they don't like people knowing about this. I mean, everybody, anybody here in Kansas City would know this. This is interesting, though. See how so many vehicle cars, and some of these nice cars in front of all these bikers here. And not all bikers are bad. I mean, there's good bikers. There's bad bikers. What really caught my deal down there at Doc Holidays, so, so they were bringing stuff in there. But then, like, they would do stuff. It's just like down here by, you know, where the tool shed's at. You know, they always have, like, the Girl Scouts and stuff. But what's really interesting was down there at Doc Holidays, they, uh, like some of them, they would do stuff for, like, the cancer, like, for kids that were, you know, dying of cancer and stuff. And I often thought, well, here they are bringing in all these drugs and stuff. But then they're... Uh, doing the stuff charity organization work for that. I mean, I guess maybe, are they just looking for justification, figure that they'll, you know, get out of jail that way in the end? Uh, I don't think it works that way, guys. But I, I wanted to show this. Now, this was just tonight. But then I'm going to show some other stuff here, too, that uh, just in the last two days, it's even more interesting. So hold on. Okay, guys, well, we'll start back at our good 7-Eleven up there at 40 Highway and uh, Chrysler, where uh, the bikers actually deal the stuff out, They uh, whether they're in their trucks, whether they're on their bikes, whether this is a major hub place here. And I've talked about this. I've shown them dealing stuff, and they love to get back here on this back side back here. I noticed that one, uh, there was a person over there and they were on a phone trying to talk to somebody in that. Now, yeah, there's sometimes there's people up there that meet up to sell things and stuff. But they, yeah, they, they this isn't that. This is stuff that's moving drugs. And um, I want to show something. I'm not going to show it up close, but I am going to show something when I went across the street here. So hold on. This was uh day before last on Monday. So hold on, guys. Okay, guys, what I'm going to do, and like I say, this was on Monday. I'm going to zoom in. 
Now you'll see a guy that's walking across over here, but there's a gal that is just, I mean, she's on either meth or fentanyl or something else. And she's sitting on her butt over here, digging through these clothes, stealing the clothes that was donated. Hold on just a second. Let's see if I can go back here just a little ways where we can see her. But she's just, I mean, this gal was so far out of it. Let's see here. I'm going to put this over here. I don't want to bring it too far in. But she's over there. And she's like almost like a little kid. She's sitting there on the concrete or asphalt there. And uh, I mean, she just, I mean, her head's bobbing around and stuff. And this is a major deal how they move it back and forth. And they also, they come from those Chrysler apartments down through here too. Now this was on Monday. Now, I'm gonna see if I I'm gonna see if I can find the back side of this. Maybe I can show you a little bit better view. So hold on. Okay, guys. This is a little bit better view. And you can see right there. And she was digging through the clothes and stuff and putting it like in her jacket, kind of like and stuff. And and I always look at these people because I like to see how burnt out they are. Do they look like skeletons or their face sunken in? Have their teeth rottened out yet? I mean, you can, you know, it's just something. That's why I said, if you guys get a chance, check out that uh, one uh, deal that that guy did at Tweaker Hunters, episode 74. Because these people actually, a lot of them actually admit to him what they're doing. And uh, this stuff isn't getting better here. I mean, these people, I mean, most of these people never, ever get completely off of it. They never make it. But what kills me is to allow this stuff to go on and on and on is just nuts because they're not doing anything about it. They're not, if they, if they would arrest some of these people, they'd crank down on some of these people that stop. It'd stop some of it. It's never going to stop all of it, but it'd slow it down. And, uh, th this is just insane here. But I wanted to show that. So hold on. Here's another one from the last couple of days too. They come out of that motel over there a lot. And there's a lot of stuff being passed. I mean, you know, don't tell me that all these police going up and down the road here can't see these people. And I know they got to have stuff on them. And they keep moving it. But they're just... I mean, basically, they're just dying day by day, quicker, faster, using that stuff. And this is up by a Walmart, not before I last ate dinner over there by Taco Bell. And uh, this sign basically says no soliciting or anything else. But as you can see... We, they're always either sitting here, standing here, and they're always trying to get money. Now, this is in Independence, Missouri, right here. This is coming out, out over here by Independence Center. So, hold on, guys. Oh, yeah, guys. And I forgot to also show Monday when I was coming back, Monday morning, early. Coming back, I'm going westbound on East 47th Street South here in Independence. And right here at the top of the hill is AMR back up in those same duplexes where they've, can't see Missouri's had them handcuffed and everything else. All the incidents, lots of incidents take place up there and stuff. And uh, it just caught my eye. Now you'd probably say, oh, well, how can we can't even see that? Well, I'm going to show it to you because we're going to move this on down through here. And it's, it had started to pull out after I uh, went up the top of the hill. And it's going to turn. And now, it had already, now, these areas right here, these here through this area, man, not good. That's where Kansas City, Missouri had them handcuffed even about a year ago. And uh, there's a lot of stuff. A lot of hot stuff being moved up here, even not just drugs, but like car parts, stuff like that. Went by one day, and one of these garage garages over here, one of these duplexes, had a whole the whole garage was full of 
Brand new parts. Well, I'm sure that's just normal. I mean, what do you guys think, huh? So let's just get on top of the hill here. Now, see, we're, we're just entering Kansas City, Missouri. Those are in Independence right there, though. Kansas City, Missouri and Independence work in, in kind of combination, but that's Independence. We're just crossing into Kansas City, Missouri right now. But let's see what we got here. <gasps> you see it, guys? I can see a pretty good distance away. But there's the AMR right there. It was at that duplex. So they've been up there in the last two weeks probably three times in a row. I think I showed one of the incidents. I did one of the incidents I didn't get filmed. But I wanted you guys to see that. Because all these drugs, all this stuff that comes in here causes all this stuff. And we want, don't want to forget down the road here, these groups. Whether they're in uh, their fancy cars, Escalade, Tahoes, or uh, on a whole bunch of motorcycles. Because there's a lot of stuff that's going on. Now, like I say, there's good bikers. But there's a lot of, there's bad ones out there too. So hold on guys. All right, I'm back. Wanted to show that one last time though. It's a little bit better blown up picture of her sitting there digging through all those clothes and stuff. Like I say, her head was bobbing around and stuff. And, you know, all these other ones that don't care. I mean, the ones that's profiting off whether they're driving their brand new Corvettes or their brand new $25,000 or Harley Davidson's or better. They don't care. This is the other bunch. They're on the lower chain of the scale, guys. But I wanted to show that. Because the other people, everybody else just turns a blind eye to this. Everybody keeps turning a blind eye. It's going to be everywhere. See, guys, so like when you go in, I don't know if anybody remembers this or not, but me and my son, we went over into Wendy's, and this gal was probably going to rob the manager there. She had a machete in her hand, and uh, people kept coming in. And uh, luckily, the, the one manager that was there did not come up to the counter at that time. This gal got tired of waiting, and she finally, she was leaning on a trash can on the inside. It kind of, she was so half stoned that she almost knocked the trash can over inside there. We go into Wendy's, and uh, then she hit the glass with that machete. Luckily, the glass didn't break. But then she crawled, or walked, I shouldn't say crawl, but walked across the street in between the, what is that, a taco john's and uh, mcdonald's i mean can you imagine going in every restaurant here in independence or kansas city and uh seeing these people in every place you go in mm, i don't know oh and let's not forget this one that was down here off sterling and 40 highway who knows what that story was on that one and then there was another one I could pull up where actually had set the sidewalk on fire. I posted that one too. But this is Kansas City. This is Independence, Missouri. Here was one underneath the bridge way back. And here was one with an American flag shirt. Standing down there on the bridge by a pillar. And we don't want to forget the biker that was up on 435. Kicking cars doing about 70 miles an hour. Alright guys, in a minute we'll wrap this up. I get to think about when I went to St. Louis there. Now, this is the art over there and uh, it's supposed to be the bad area i guess of st louis some of st louis i mean there was not i didn't see hardly any trash anywhere i mean 
And we went from St. Charles, which I think it's about 25 miles in to where the arch is at, or 30 miles from there. I mean, is St. Louis perfect? No, definitely not. But I sure seen, it seemed like the people were keeping it a lot more cleaner and stuff. And when we were at this here, out of all the time we were there, we only seen one homeless. So I wonder how they're helping their people that are homeless there. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I just, you know, and I showed footage of, like I say, a couple hours of this stuff when we were driving too. I mean, I don't know. It's weird that Kansas City has all this problem, but they don't do anything to stop all this stuff. And without stopping and putting, getting some of these people, it won't stop. It'll just keep getting worse. Okay, guys. So we'll wrap this up. I'm going to show one more little episode that took place in the last three years where this guy come down the street and his car honked at him so you, that he wouldn't get run over and he beats his head in the street. You know, and as a people, I mean, a lot of people here just turn their head to all this. And uh, one incident, another incident, another incident, another incident. And uh, where will it all end? You know, you got to think about that, guys. So hold on. Between Willis and the North Lake, watch this, guys. He beats his head on the street. I mean, some of these people are drugged up and high and everything else. Alright guys, we'll wrap it up for right now. I will have another video coming out. It, this one will actually be on metaphysics and it's going to be a big one this time. So uh, keep your eyes open and uh, stay safe out there.